Welcome back to the writer's room. I'm so happy you're here. So we're going to focus today on those of you that have a specific writing goal. So far in this series, we've been focusing on whatever goal we have and using three games strategies that are going to help us remove the resistance, keep us in a positive vibration, a positive mindset, positive energy in momentum so that you become unstoppable. And we're getting ready now to transition to our five-day best-selling book boot camp. It is free, it's our gift to you. And if you are in the middle of a book, thinking about maybe doing a book, thinking about doing a blog or writing good emails or writing articles, any writing at all that you wanna do this year, definitely join us, avail yourself of this powerful momentum. We've had phenomenal breakthroughs and results happen for people from the boot camps that are now best-selling authors and um, doing speaking and on podcasts and all kinds of stuff is happening that started right there in the incubator of the boot camp. So join us for that coming up um, beginning of February. And for today, I want to talk about picking a model book. And this is great, even if you don't know your book idea yet or your writing idea, this can be for emails, articles, anything. So when I was writing my first book, which is a memoir, I decided to choose a memoir that blew my mind, a memoir that I thought was exquisitely written, a memoir that I knew would, um, like, that I knew if mine came anything anywhere remotely in the stratosphere would, would, would be of service to the readers. And I chose The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. Many of you have read this book. It's phenomenal. There are many good memoirs. And that is the one I chose. Every day before I wrote my book, I would read a page, a couple pages, a chapter. I would read until I felt the song of the book, the, the incredible power of the narrative and the craft and the prose. And I would get that into my cells and get that into my vibration. It would show me what I'm shooting for. And then I would start writing. Now, I've had clients say to me, well, I don't want that author to influence my author. I don't worry about that because we are all so incredibly unique in our voice, in our craft, in our talents. We never are going to plagiarize or use anyone's exact words, or anything like that. But what it does is it reminds me what great writing sounds like and looks like on the page. And then the hope is that that pulls me forth, elevates my game, and lets me write a little bit better every day. I love picking out model books for each project. And I have one for, I'm doing my next book right now. It's a nonfiction book. And I have a model book for that. Uh, I had a model book for my fiction short story collection that I wrote last year. So model books are phenomenal. You could have more than one, but we recommend to our clients often to pick one main model book for each writing project. And again, you can substitute article, essay, poem, blog, any, any type of writing you're gonna do, email series. Find someone who has written in a way that lights you on fire, that lights you up. That's like, damn, that's some good writing. <laughs> I just have to share this. I don't, this is silly. I have, um, I had a great uncle uh, who's passed now, but his name was Uncle Dick. And uh, every time that we would get together with the larger family and my grandmother would cook, she was an amazing, uh, amazing cook. And he would take a few bites of whatever she had made. And then he would put down his fork and he would lean back and he'd go, that's some damn good cooking, Audrey. My grandmother was Audrey. So as a child, we thought this was hilariously exciting because we weren't allowed to swear or anything. So someone swearing at the dinner table was very exciting and also just very funny to hear, you know, Uncle Dick just taking it in. So what makes you feel like that's some damn good cooking and damn good writing? Find that book in your genre. Now you could pick a fiction book if you're writing nonfiction, but I really like for each book to pick my model book as the exact genre. If you're writing a book of linked essays like Glennon Doyle did in Untamed and you love that book, that's your model book. If you want to write a funny personal growth book and you love Jen Sincero's You Are a Badass, that's your model book. And read the whole thing and then start peeling back the curtain. And if you're working with an editor, a good editor is going to help you look at your model book and look behind the curtain to think, what is this author doing? What is it that he or she or they are doing um, that makes this so freaking good? Is it the clarity of their content? Is it the humor? Is it the um, really beautiful figure work with metaphor and simile? Is it the surprise twists that you didn't see coming? 
look and start to read like a writer and analyze. And we'll be doing this, we can do some of this in the boot camp together. What is it that makes this book so great? And then how can you use the moves, right? They say good artists borrow, great artists steal. You never steal the words. That's plagiarism. It's a crime. Never doing that. But we can steal the moves. Like, ooh, they totally went to a place I never expected and had a big twist in chapter seven. I'm doing that. Or, oh, every chapter ends on this cliffhanger. I'm doing that. Or they layered in the most incredible resources to demonstrate what they've taught in that chapter, you know, guided meditations, video tutorials, PDF templates. I'm doing that in my book. All right. So your homework this week is to choose a model book or article, essay, email for your project and then sign up for the boot camp so that we can deep dive in and get, get, I mean, in one week, you will clarify your idea, you'll map your project and outline, and you will start generating words on the page. It's going to be awesome. I'll see you all there.